This year, I visited Medellin, Colombia, known as a great spot in South America for digital nomads. I wanted to see if the Colombian vibe and its coffee scene lives up to the hype. The city of eternal spring, as they say, has so much to offer. I book at a studio apartment in a very calm neighborhood. It was spacious enough, very well lit by big windows. And a desk to work from home every day, along with a nice view of the city. The first thing to do was to taste the Colombian coffee. I love that they can explain you how to pour over a great coffee. I even got some coffee grounds to make at my place. I caught up with a Colombian friend and we ate bandeja paisa, a heavy Colombian dish with plantain, rice, meat and more. It's good, but it's just a lot to digest. Paisa Colombian food. For transportation around the area, I used to rent those scooters with an app called Grease. It was so much fun to move around. I stay in Lavareles, a very relaxed and greenish area with a mix of locals and expats. I visited great coffee shops like Café Revolución, Semilla Coworking, and Café Cliché, where a digital nomad meetup was held every week. It was cool because I got to meet a lot of interesting people. I met with some friends that live here and ate one of the best pizzas ever. Really, they are amazing here. I used Grab to order a taxi if I wanted it to take long distances, because it's actually a really big city. And this time I wanted to visit Poblado, a walkable hipster area with more expats, greener scenery, and even more vibrant than Laureles. So I just got the mondongo, which is like a typical Colombian fruit. So they give you like this massive, massive soup of the mondongo. With some arepas, look at that, like avocado and some sauces. Man, it looks very, very tasty. Okay, let's try a little bit. Poblado has cool coffee shops like Pergamino, Velvet, and my favorite co-working spot in Medellin, Selena. My friends and nomads giving back held an event at Selena where they explain what is their project about and also show some other initiatives happening in Medellin. So it was a pretty cool way to meet other nomads. On a day trip we went to one of the famous falls in Medellin and it was the first time trying the metro. It's a pretty cool view of Medellin. A 
few blocks away from the apartment there's a supermarket called Exito and that's where I was buying all the groceries because we wanted to eat at home most of the time. So this is downtown in Medellin. You have this beautiful, beautiful building. And look at all this culture for Boteros. It's famous for these fat people. It's like typical Colombian vegan food. with the people from Comuna 13. For the reason, I never said I live here. But now, I feel very proud to be able to say welcome because Comuna 13 is unbelievable in the transformation. We are almost there to independencia number one. I hope you understand my words. Now, I would like to show you a map so you understand what, in my opinion, is possible for because Medellin is growing a lot. Guys, I want to tell it to you a little story about my family because I have lived here my entire life. For a longer trip outside of Medellin, we took a bus to visit the small town of Huatape known for the giant granite rock called Piedra del Peñol. It's a very massive rock and it was such a fun trip to do. That was a ride. Okay, that's the real deal. And for the last days, I've just keep going to new coffee shops like this one called Indie Studio, get more coffee, meet some friends, chill and work because there's always work to do as a digital nomad.
Hey, thank you for following along the journey of living in Medellin, Colombia as a digital nomad. This is my second time in the city, but this time was a little bit interesting because my computer, I mean, not this one, and my camera, everything was stolen in a coffee shop. And it was my fault. I have another bit explaining the whole situation, but I had to manage like different footage from the old camera. I also used my iPhone from some of the uh, videos. Another friend lent me her camera. So there was few shots here and there, I had to mix them all together to make a cohesive story. Just let me know in the comment if you liked it, if uh, or just some feedback for the next videos that I want to make. If you want to know what like what are the pros and cons of Medellin, I have an article on my blog where I explain with more further information everything like pros and cons and and safetyness and where to book an apartment, what is the best areas, like all information that you want as a digital nomad that wants to live in Medellin, it will be fine on that on that website. Just click down below, there will be descriptions for that. And also a special mention to Selena, that is a pretty cool hotel hostel concept that they also have a co-working that was my favorite one in Medellin. It's in the Poblado area where most of the expats are and it's like a huge, huge uh, apartment building. It does enough space for all the nomads who want to stay the first days there. You can check the link down below. If you click on it and if you book through it, you're going to have 25% discount for any of your bookings. So I totally recommend Selena if you go there in Medellin. And if you want to see more behind the scenes of every city that I go to, follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of interesting pictures and also stories just to tell you what's going on and where I am in the whole situation. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click on the bell if you want to get notification for the next videos because I have a few cities uh, that I'm gonna post and I'm gonna travel more when things get better. I'm gonna travel more to other places that are adapted for digital nomads. Subscribe and see you in the next one. Ciao.